Hi everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at the new Mocha X, which is a successor from the previous Mocha, which of course you will have seen out on the roads, run for about four years or so. The Mocha that we've got in the showroom today is a active spec, which is the equivalent of what you used to get in the exclusive on the previous model. So with that, like all, all Mockers, if you've had a look at one before, you'll know that they come as standard with a lot of, a lot of standard features, meaning you don't so much get a lower spec vehicle. Now this one's got equipped with the 1.4 turbo engine, which is without a doubt the most popular engine that we saw in the Mockers, mainly due for its uh, economy, versatility and power. Obviously it comes with a, a 140 brake horsepower, which is very nippy for a car of its size. You'll notice at the front, the front end's been completely facelifted, just bringing it up to speed with the times, and it looks absolutely fantastic, especially with these winged daytime running lights that you see just here. Front and rear parking sensors, like we've come to uh, come to expect with the mockers, and there at the rear as well. Now if I just make sure that it's unlocked, so we can get into the boot, you'll notice that the boot space. Really, really good for a car of its size, you'll see in there, and it still comes with its 60-40 uh, rear folding seats. Makes it really, really versatile, so that if you've got nobody in the back, the back seats will still fold completely flat just by pulling the tab there, pulling those down, and then pulling the seat down. And as you can see, completely flat there, meaning that once those back seats are down, you've got just as much space as what you typically get in an estate car. Now, if we take a quick look inside as well, a couple of things that you'll notice have changed from the previous mocker. First of all, your little light panel down here, but it's still got its automatic lights like they've had previously on the other specs. Still got your electric folding mirrors as well, which is good for these because they've got those really big sort of elephant ear mirrors on the side for that to give you that extra visibility. So being able to fold them away on the tighter streets is really, really important. You've got your rain sensitive wipers, as you did in the previous one, but over and above that, we've got automatic main beam as well. And what that means is that this sensor behind the rear view mirror here will sense if you are on an unlit road and that there's no cars coming the other way. And if that is the case, it can then put the main beam on for you automatically. It took me completely by storm the first time that it happened to me when I was driving one of these, and it's, it's really, really good the way that it works. Now another big difference that you'll notice in this Mokka, um, which is a huge difference to what you will have been used to and what you've known in the, the Mokka of previous, is how much more simplified, I don't know if I can turn this light on so you can see it a little bit better, the inside of the cockpit is here. So I'll just wait for that to focus. So down here, before where it was a huge cluster of buttons up and down the centre, it's just been really nicely simplified down. You've still got your dual zone climate control, which was a great feature on these to ensure that your passengers are most comfortable either side. Button for your parking sensors and your auto start, stop there. But where you used to have your big cluster of buttons for your, um, for your radio controls and for your media, you've now got the IntelliLink system, which works absolutely seamlessly, especially if you're going to use your, if you've got an iPhone or an up-to-date Android phone, you can use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to pair through this device here, and you can use your maps off your phone, you can use your Spotify, you can use things like calls and messages all through the screen there, which is just a really, really nice link and a really nice interface to, to pair your phone through there and just make it so easy when you get in the morning to plug it in or connect through Bluetooth, plug it in through there, pop it in, forget about it, close the panel and it's nice and hidden away. Like with most of the 1.4 turbos in the Vauxhall range, it's also a six speed giving you great economy on long runs but also that lower down um, torque for pushing through the gears a little bit quicker and just getting up to speed that little bit quicker as well. And then your cup holders and a little spare compartment there. Beautiful piano strip in the centre so you've got metallic paintwork in the centre there and it's just a, a nice environment to be in. Hope you've enjoyed the walk around today. 